Good morning. So I've been asked to do a bit more video of a day in the life of property investor. So uh, I'm dropping Andy off at site today. So I thought I'd do a little tour of what's been happening um, at our current flip so you can get a bit of an idea of where we're at. So the kitchen all got delivered yesterday. So this is all worktops. And uh, where's the rest of the kitchen? In where? In this room. Here's the rest of the kitchen. <laughs> so this is a um, two bed terrace. We bought it as a two bed terrace. Um, I don't need my hood down indoors. Um, it's raining outside. We bought it as a two bed terrace. Say hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. <laughs> uh, bought it as a two bed terrace in Northampton and uh, we paid 102,000 for this. Um, we are gonna probably spend, actually we're coming in under budget at the moment. On time and under budget, this is never done, but uh, touching all the wood in the world. Um, and yes, yeah, so we paid 102 for it. We think we had a budget of 50 to do it. Um, actually, we're sitting at about 25 at the moment. Uh, probably go up to around 30 once we've finished everything uh, with staging and all that sort of stuff. Um, and we own the house next door. So we own that house. Uh, that house there, um, which is a three bed terrace and that's smaller than this one. So we are turning this one um, from a two bed into a three bed. Um, and yeah, that one, we had it valued like within the last nine months, 12 months. Um, and that's valued at 245. So this will be a three bed, but it will be a bigger floor plan. Um, so we've done our numbers based on a 245 uh, GDV. So we paid 102 for it. Um, it should be worth 245 and we've spent, let's say with legals and stamp and all of that sort of stuff, it'll be around 40. Um, but we've already had our stamp duty back on this one, which was three grand um, or around three grand because it needed so much work. This was, this is the kitchen needed everything um there was a lot of damp there was roof issues all these sorts of things so actually we were eligible for getting our stamp duty back so that was quite good um, i'm gonna go upstairs now right. hello chris hello Flooding today there used to be walls here and a radiator, and a radiator. <laughs> there used to be a wall here there used to be a bit a, a, well there was two bathrooms actually weirdly there was a bar from here and there was a bar from here and what we're gonna do is put a bathroom where Chris is the wall and Andy, this is where the bathroom will be. And then back there will be the third bedroom. When we get there. When they get there. That chimney breast came out, which is where the fireplace downstairs came from. This roof has been rejiggled about by this wizard and this wizard. <laughs> We've got some steels up here somewhere. I don't really know what's happening, but there's also some floor stuff happening. There is also, this used to be insulated with newspaper. <laughs> and we've got some proper Insulation. efforts going on. Wizardry happening. So it's that house there. Um, we bought that house there in 2019. We still own that, we rent that out. Um, we rent that out for 1,400 a month. And this one, we're gonna sell. So I've just left I left the boys there and I'm heading to Milton Keynes today. I'm actually meeting with my fund manager today. So I invest in property, but I also invest in um, stocks and shares and um, foreign exchange and crypto and lots of other things. Um, anyone who's read my book, you'll know that I invest in quite a lot of different asset classes. Um, and today, uh, my fund manager um, is based in Milton Keynes. So I'm going to meet him to talk about what we're gonna see happen in next year. Um, I've also got some ideas. Um, I really wanna launch my own fund. So I'm gonna be talking to him about that and what we could do around that. And I need to understand the compliance and all of that sort of stuff. So it's quite, um, quite a big conversation happening. So yeah, that's my plan. That's where I'm going now. So um, meeting done this morning, the fund manager, which is really exciting because he's agreed to help me to launch the fund, which is mega for us. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. And then on my way, 
on the road in the car. I had a really good call, consultancy call with a client who um, has got a portfolio that's failing at the moment and wanted some advice on um, just what their options are. Really. It's not really advice, more just talking through uh, from a very unbiased perspective what they can do to maybe improve the performance of their portfolio. So that was a really interesting call. Um, I've got some next actions to do with that. So yeah, that's been my morning um, today, um, 3rd of January today. And uh, finally it stopped raining. Look, we've got some blue sky. Look at this, happy about that. Um, this afternoon I've got two consultancy calls. I'm just heading into the office now um, and screensaver for 2024. I've been on calls all afternoon and actually I just keep looking at this. I love it. This is going to be my mantra for the year. Nobody cares. Work harder. So it's like half past two. Um, I'm just walking in the rain. <sighs> the rain needs to piss off. So our office is basically on this farm. The farmer lives in this beautiful house here. That way. Lush, and our office is behind there. Um, so, while I've got a little break, I've got a little 20 minute break in my diary. I thought I'd uh, get some steps in. I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. Hard when it's pissing with rain. Um, so, I've had two strategy calls. Amazing calls. Oh, I love these calls. Talking to clients about what they can do to just direct their business a little bit better. What they can do with what they've done already both clients as is so common in my world in our training company anyway both clients spent a lot of money on training masterminds with other people great theory absolutely no fucking idea how to implement it no clue what to actually do my hoods i'm trying to keep dry but also be able to see what i'm talking about um yeah absolutely no idea how to implement and how to operate a business, how to build a marketing funnel, how to raise money, how to do expenses. Honestly, all the basic stuff, how to hire an accountant and all this sort of stuff. And the thing that's the most annoying about this is that actually when you know how to run a business, everything else becomes a bit easier. You know, the basics, they are basics, but they feel really hard when you've got absolutely no idea how to run a company so yeah having some time on the phone with these guys or ladies actually they're both ladies um talking about what they're trying to achieve and then basically my job now is to take everything that i've talked about today put it into a strategy build them a report a document a plan whatever you want to call it send it to them and then we talk about how they implement so yeah i'm excited about that two very very cool ladies and yeah, so I'm wandering around in the rain. There's another house here. Again, I think the, the farmer owns here too. It's not to be said for owning land. You could just develop buildings on. I don't know if you know, I'm into property. <laughs> so, uh, what else have I done today? I also, I had my meeting with my fund manager who's agreed to help me build the farm, which is really exciting. Um, but... What was really annoying is I spoke to him about some other stuff that he's been investing in, other property people. People are not giving back money in this world right now, and that's bothering me a lot. If you borrow money, give it back, people. It's just good practice. I don't know why our industry is full of crooks, it's terrifying. But anyway, it's none of my business. Out here doing my thing. So I'm gonna go because my hand's getting cold, but yeah. Day in the life of this property investor today. We're already halfway through. It's been a very busy day. So I've got a meeting next with my marketing team to talk about um, testimonials and trust pilot. Actually, we set up a trust pilot account because I want to start telling the world that, that we're good at what we do a little bit more. Tell tell the world. Um, so yeah, I've got that, and then I'm going back to site to see what they've been doing. So you'll get another little video in a minute of all of the work that has been happening today on our project while well, I've not been there. So yeah, I'm gonna go now, because I'm wet. Not gonna lie, I underestimated how much it's raining. <laughs> it's wet through. My clothes got no sleeves. I'm sad. It's 
So it is quarter five now and I'm just uh, picking Addy up from site and we'll have a look at what's been happening today. There's Chris! Hi! So today we have got, I don't know if you can see, hold on, let me confirm my way. So we've got a wall here, here. This is really hard to do backwards. <laughs> No, this, no, Th that way, there's a wall there. <laughs> Worst YouTube ever. There's a wall going there, that's the bathroom. Pipes, as you can see, going under the floor. What else has we got? Hold on, let me turn it around. Pipes. Rerouted the pipes. Bath going here. Bath here. Towel rail going Towel rail there. there. Health and safety, come on. Toilet, Toilet going there. Vanity unit and sink over here. Yep. And doorway, voila. Et voila. And then this that I'm standing in right now, I will endeavor not to fall in the ground. Like, Watch the pipes. Watch the pipes, Chris. Uh, obviously there won't be a toilet there. There will be a double bedroom, effectively, which you will walk to via this walkway. Bath here. Walkway in, double bedroom there. Nice big windows, nice and light, which we like. Radio going here, so we've got all clear walls, furniture. And they're doing it to Kistery on the radio today. Hooray. Hello, Andy. Hello. Look at this power tool. Hello. I'm sitting outside, uh, just waiting for Andy to finish up. Um, they were just finishing the stud wall, so I've made myself scarce. Um, so it's quarter past five now, and uh, the rest of my day basically is going to be heading home, getting some tea, and then I've got a session tonight with my um, the, the Kajito Wealth community. So Kajito Wealth is my training, education, and mentoring company, um, and we have a community. We have a, a network of property entrepreneurs who we get together on a Wednesday evening online. Um, and tonight we're doing a workshop on goal setting for 2024, which makes sense, right? Because it's the beginning of the year, so we're going to be doing a really interesting session on that. So that's at seven o'clock. Um, and yeah, and then that will be my day. So it's been actually a super busy day today. Um, it's not always this exciting and it's not always this busy. Um, I spend a lot of time at my laptop, a lot of time at my computer, but today has been much more of the like running around stuff, which has been great. Um, and I think my biggest takeaways from today, uh, while I've got five minutes to share them with you, is that one, due diligence is really, really bloody important. I had a conversation today with um, one of the, the people that I had calls with today who has lent money to three um, in three property people and they've lent the money to do property projects. Two of those people are big name property training leads. So names that you will definitely recognize if you are in any way involved in the property industry education side um, or have had any sort of education, you'll definitely know these names. And he's invested money in their projects and they've defaulted on those loans. And that blows my mind. Um, and really just a reminder that just because you're introduced to somebody by a friend or just because they've got a big profile or whatever it is, don't always, don't always believe the hype. It's really important to do your due diligence on the project itself, on their track record, or actually doing the sorts of things that you're investing in. Um, so, so important. Uh, make sure they're not over leveraged. You know, what happens a lot, unfortunately, is people borrow way more money than they could ever afford to pay back um, if the shit hits the fan. So, you know, if you're borrowing £50,000 to do a project with a house that's worth 200000 actually, you that 
it's hard to lose in that situation but what happens a lot of the time is where people are borrowing millions of pounds all from lots of different people and they're doing like one project that's got a single point of failure in it and it just when the market wiggles about it it doesn't end well so you know don't be scared of doing projects with people it's really important that you invest right i fully 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 believe in investment um but do your due diligence people because just because somebody is a big name just because you know they've got a brand and their marketing team's exceptional doesn't mean they're all necessarily any good at actually delivering projects so just remember that um also i think <coughs> i feel like i'm getting a cough i'm not happy about it at all um also i think that in my mind my ponderings today is that it's basically just the wet wettest place in the whole world and i'm really upset that i don't live in spain <laughs> it's, these are my ponderings for today uh, do your due diligence and buy a house abroad sarah these are the things so yeah i mean one of my goals this year is to buy a property in the sun somewhere um that's definitely something i've working i'm working towards and have been for a while um it's probably on the cards this year i would imagine so you can be in the sunshine a little bit more um but yeah i'm i'm babbling now so i'm gonna shut up um and i will catch you later you got it all inside of you. and that's me eight o'clock one minute past eight session done with the community training delivered uh, one page business plan homework set and that's me signing off for the night